Hello and welcome to an online global group video about CT polarity. We'll be using the inductive kick method to check the polarity of a CT. We'll be using a DC current. We'll inject a positive DC current into the H1 side of our CT. As H1 becomes positive and the current enters H1, current will leave the X1 terminal. To uh, measure, we'll be using a DC milliamp meter with a zero center scale so that the needle can swing to the left or to the right. So if the terminals are the same instantaneous polarity, then you'll see an upscale kick when we make the DC circuit, and we'll see a downscale kick when we break the DC circuit. CTs are identified. Their H1 side on the schematic diagram is large X, the X1 with a small x. Now let's take a look at a um, actual CT and see how the uh, terminals are identified. Here the H1 side is designated with white paint and also a white dot or white raised bump. The uh, secondary terminals X1 is designated terminal closest to this white bump and also it has tags that read X1 and X2. So let's connect a um, DC source that we can use for our primary and we will also and we'll connect our meter. We'll connect the plus side of our meter to the X1. We'll connect the negative uh, terminal of our meter to the X2. And also you notice that we're going to inject in the primary side, which will, will give us a scaled down reading, which is um, safer for personnel and equipment than going from the low side to the what would be the high side here. So now since my uh, meter is connected with a positive lead to X1, when I send a positive uh, pulse into H1, I'll see an upscale kick when I make the circuit and a downscale kick when I break the circuit. Upscale on make, downscale on break. Now somebody asked in the last video what happens if the battery is uh, flipped over. So we're going to turn our battery over. Now we'll be sending a negative signal into H1. So H1 is negative, X1 will now be negative, so we'll see a downscale kick on make and an upscale kick on break. Down on make, upscale kick on break. This would also be true if these leads here were reversed. Now when I send a uh, positive uh, pulse into H1, since positive side of my meter is connected to the X2, I would expect to see a downscale kick on make and an upscale kick on break. Down on make and upscale on break. And thank you for watching today.